This is a 1967 911R. This is chassis number five. So I drove the Monte Carlo Rally for the first time in 69. So this engine, I kept it for one other rally. I won the Neige Glass Rally in France with this car and uh, with the camshaft engine, with the four camshaft. But uh, the, the engine was taking 9,000 revs. It was fantastic. This engine for the Tour de France and for the Tour de Corse was much nicer. And I have Scott George with me from the Revs Institute, the Collier Collection. So Scott, could you tell us a little bit about this particular model? They started out with a, with the basic 911S uh, monocoque, you know, the chassis is 911S, but the idea was to put as much lightweight parts on the car all the way around as possible. The, the both front fenders, the doors, the rear deck lid, are all, all fiberglass. The door handles are resin. Windshield glass was meant to be uh, thinner than the, than the production cars. The Tour de France, when we talk about that, I mean, that literally was a tour of France. Yes, it was uh, all the week, you know, and uh, we were driving at night, which is not uh, n possible now. And uh, it was very exhausting tired, uh, uh, rally, because you, you did not sleep. We have a special guest with us here this morning. Thank you for coming up and joining us here, sir. Well, it's a pleasure to be here today. And uh, it's a real thrill for us to um, bring an historic car out here to one of the great uh, Concours venues in the United States and to have you know, one of the great personalities in uh, international motorsports over the last 50 years to, to join us. And so it's, and I am thrilled as always to unite in a car and a driver, and especially one of the magnitude of Gerard Lerousse, who's uh, you know, really, I, I think, the renaissance man of motorsports. pleasure for me because I know that he is in very good condition maybe as good as when I was driving well you know the one of the things that we like to do as a research institute is um, basically accumulate as much information as we can about cars and about practices in the day and so on so your critique of what it was like to drive this car after you drive it on Tuesday is going to be incredibly valuable information for our archives that uh, you know support uh, research in the whole you know universe of meaningful cars worldwide, and uh, this will be you know one of those high points in, uh, in in our archival management. So thank you for agreeing to drive it on Tuesday. Outstanding. And thank you to Mr. Collier and to Scott. To to let me drive this car.